Hey everyone, how are you all? I'm sure you all are doing great, learning new things and preparing for new certifications. But do you know that Amazon AWS is going to retire three certifications in the upcoming few months? And not just that, all these certifications, each of these certifications costs $300. So that's why in case you are preparing for one of these certifications, it's very important for you to understand what are the timelines and what are the other details around these certifications. So that's why my friends, in this video, we are going to talk about what are the certifications that are going to retire and when exactly are they going to retire. We will also talk about why these certifications are retiring at the first place. And also we will understand what happens if you have just acquired any of these certifications certifications and also we will discuss upon can you recertify in these certifications and lastly I will try to answer very important question that is that if you have gained or purchased any of the exam voucher for these certifications what happens to that so all these kind of questions I will try to answer in this very video and not just that I will also try to tell you what exactly is Amazon AWS focusing on and what is the most sought after certification for Amazon AWS in the coming times. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So now my friends on your screen you can see the AWS documentation and this documentation is all about AWS certification retirements and launches. The first thing to note on this documentation is the update date. So this documentation is updated very recently on 30th of Jan 2024. Now let's check out all the certifications that are going to retire in April 2024. So here you can see the first certification that we have is AWS Certified Data Analytics Speciality. And then we have AWS Certified Database Speciality. And the third certification that is going to expire is AWS Certified SAP on AWS Speciality. And now my friends, let's try to understand why exactly are these certifications going to change. So we will understand the words of AWS and that says given how quickly the technology changes, we are always reviewing our certifications and evaluating how well we are meeting customer needs. And we see the opportunity to serve our customers better by reducing the number of specialty certifications and enhancing our offering at the foundational, associate and professional level. And this is kind of really good approach my friends. I really appreciate that AWS is taking some time reviewing their certifications and clearing out the froth. So a very welcome step from AWS. Probably we might see some advancement in this very lines from Microsoft Azure. And now my friends, let's very quickly understand what are these certifications all about. And in the due course, I will also try to answer all the questions that I set up in the agenda for this video. So first we have the AWS Certified Data Analytics Speciality Certification. Let's open it. Okay, so now in this documentation, let's first understand when exactly is this certification going to retire. And here you can see that this certification will be retiring on April 9, 2024. And the last day to take this certification exam is April the 8th, 2024. And now my friends on your screen you can understand that this specialty certification is intended for the individuals with experience and expertise working with AWS services to design, build, secure and maintain analytics solution. And then AWS is giving you some kind of guidelines that you should have 5 years of experience with common data analytics technologies and other guidelines are also given. And not just that, you can also note that this certification is 300 USD. So please in case you are preparing for this certification, please mind the timelines for certification expiry. And now my friends, I want to take you to the FAQ section of this examination or the certification so that you are able to answer or get the answers for all of the questions that you have in your mind. So first of all, you can see the very first question or the very first FAQ that we have here is that why is this certification retiring the AWS Certified Data Analytics Speciality Certification? Let's see what is the answer that AWS gives that AWS certification is investing in building role based certification which is very similar to what we also see in Microsoft Azure and like the new AWS certified data engineer associate and this is the focus area for AWS my friends that AWS is focusing on certified data engineer associate level exam and that is focused on the data engineer job role. So now you can see that AWS is also coming on the same line as we see the certification in Microsoft Azure. So here also going forward we will have more certification role based. And then my friends, you can also understand what are the differences between the retiring certification, which is this one, the specialty certification and the new AWS certified data engineer associate level certification. And here AWS is quoting that the retired certified data analytics specialty 
covers the broader set of domains and more complex topics across multiple data roles and includes data analysis and visualization which are aligned with the data analyst job role and the new certification the associate level certification is aligned to the data engineer job role and is focused on ingestion, transformation, storage, and management of data. So now you can clearly see what is the focus area for Amazon AWS in the coming times. And similarly, my friends, you can read all of the FAQs, but I really want to take one more FAQ, and that is this one, which says, can I still use the vouchers purchased for the professional and specialty certifications to take the AWS certified data analytics specialty exam? Let's see what AWS has to say. And on this, AWS says that if you have already purchased professional and specialty vouchers, you can use the vouchers for this exam before April 8th, 2024. And that's the last day of delivery for this exam. Now friends, I'm not going to take all of the FAQs here. You can read the documentation. All the links are there in the description box. We will now cover other certification because many of the FAQs are quite similar. And now here comes our second certification which is AWS Certified Database Speciality. And as you can see on your screen, this certification will be retired on April 30th, 2024. And of course, the last day to take this exam is April 29th, 2024. So the rule of thumb is that whenever the exam, any particular exam is retiring, you can always take the exam one day before. And this exam, my friends, is intended for the individuals with the experience and expertise working on on-premises, AWS, cloud-based, relational and non-relational databases. And once again, you can see this is also specialty level exam, which costs 300 USD. And once again, let's check out the FAQs for this exam as well. So here we reach to the FAQs. And the first one says that if I currently hold AWS certified database speciality, is there any action I need to take because of this certification is retiring? Let's say AWS has to say is that no, there is no action needed on your part. Your certification will remain active for three years from the date it was earned. So very important point here, in case you have recently acquired these certification, no need to panic. Your certifications are still valid for three years. And as AWS say, you will be able to continue displaying and sharing your certification digital batch through Credly within the three year period. And now let's take a very important FAQ, which is if I need to recertify AWS certified database speciality, what are my options? AWS says that you can still recertify AWS certified database speciality by retaking the exam on or before April 29th, 2024. And once recertified, your certification will be valid for three years. And now let's jump on to the third certification. And that is AWS certified SAP on AWS speciality. And this certification will be retired on April 30th, 2024. And once again, you can take the exam one day before that is April 29th. And here, my friends, you can see that we have already covered these kind of FAQs in the previous certification. So I will not cover these ones. I will take the last one here, which says, what does AWS training and certification offer for SAP on AWS? So this FAQ or this question is specifically related to this certification. So let's check out the answer. It says that we offer multiple digital courses on SAP on AWS, and you can find more information on these links. And of course, as always, you will find all the relevant documentation in in the description box. So friends, those were the three AWS certifications that are going to expire in April 2024. So friends, I hope that I was able to answer all of your questions and clear all the doubts. But still, in case you have some doubts or questions left out, do let me know in the comment section or you can also email me at connectors at the rate thetechblackboard.com. And also keep watching this space as the very next video that I'm going to bring is all about the Amazon AWS certification discount. So how can you avail these discounts and give the certification exam tension free? All will be discussed in the very next video. So please subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell so that you get the timely notifications of all the important videos on both Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure. And of course, if you like the content, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, families and buddies. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.